joining you on this beautiful Thursday, April 3rd. In Minnesota, it's still snowing, if you can imagine that. But anyways, um, just want to bring you a quick video about the Ripper itself. I know a lot of us are getting the Ripper today, and there have been videos about the Ripper um, recently, well, when it first came out, but not everybody might have seen him or they might have forgotten about it. But anyways, the Ripper is the gun that came out with the Devastation uh, DLC map pack. Um, it is a hybrid weapon of an AR and a submachine gun that you will be seeing on screen right now. And this isn't necessarily a best class or the best class, but it's a class I've been using um, and I've been having pretty pretty well, pretty good success with it. Um, so we got the Ripper, obviously. I threw a silencer on it for stealth reasons. And it, it kills pretty fast. I mean, it shoots really fast and this gun is dead on accurate man just no joke so I've been using a silencer and actually instead of the foregrip I've been using um, extended mags because when you're in SMG mode it does run out fairly quickly so then uh, the, you can have the foregrip or the extended mags but I like extended mags but this picture I took was um, at the time I had foregrip on it so anyways um and then no secondary no lethal no tactical you could throw a lethal on if you're playing domination you really want to and then i roll with uh sleight of hand you might not be able to tell in the picture exactly what the perks are but sleight of hand um dead silence off the grid focus and fully loaded focus is a must-have on any class especially if you're gonna be at those medium uh ranges and you're gonna be running around like a submachine gun which this gun does both of you're going to want to win all those gunfights, and so focus, uh, fully loaded, just because I like to go on those long streaks, and that's why I have a silencer on, so I don't show up, uh, and because this is, it's a, it's an AR, even when it's in AR form, it's a submachine gun, so it still runs like a submachine gun, and so you don't need stalker, and you don't need quick try if you don't want to, and that's why I opted for off the grid, that silence I love, because this game made footsteps a lot more effective to be able to hear, and sleight of hand, you'll see in the videos I have coming up here, they're just short little clips of me shooting the gun itself, that it does reload very slowly. It's um, it's I think it reloads almost the same as the m tire, so it's fairly slow. So now we will hop into our first video, guys. And here you're going to see the... Uh, one second. And here you're going to see the me just uh, switching in between the SMG and the assault rifle class. Um, obviously you just you aim down the site and you click on the right toggle to switch it out and it'll say assault or SMG and then we're gonna move into shooting it as an assault rifle and just to compare it to it you'll see how slow it shoots here it shoots almost as fast as the Remington and you'll see how slow it reloads now here's the Remington and you're gonna see that the Remington shoots about the same if not faster I think and it reloads a heck of a lot faster and then we'll hop into the SMG side of it and it shoots very fast as an SMG um, it's up there in the top of all the SMGs. Again, slow reload. And here's the CBJ, the fastest submachine gun. And as you can tell, the um, the Ripper is an extremely accurate gun. And then here is the Ripper with extended mags on. So it, it's obviously going to last a lot longer. And just to show you how awesome it is with extended mags, I put this in here. And then as the assault rifle version, again, how long it will normally last you. So you can kind of get the feel if you're watching it for that. And then lastly here you will see the Ripper with sleight of hand on, which I think is extremely key with this gun. Don't use it without sleight of hand. It, I mean, you can use it without sleight of hand. I just prefer to have sleight of hand on because it is a slow reload time, and if you don't cancel that, man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to lose you a lot of gunfights, and you're going to be hiding around corners pretty often. So hopefully you guys enjoyed those comparisons. I thought they might be fairly helpful for you to be able to see like exactly how the gun acts and uh, in comparison to what weapon you may be using or um, anything similar to that. But I highly recommend in the beginning when I showed my class that you use sleight of hand and that you use focus. Um, anything else, man, it's pretty up for grabs. This gun is beast. It melts people. Thanks for watching, guys. More content coming. See you later.